my equestrian friends, it's me, Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. And today I'm gonna share with you getting your horse's mane to lay down. Now, a year ago, I roached Ethan's mane. And while that was fun, I'm ready for it to be back. And as you can see, it's just kind of all over the place. So I'm gonna show you how you can make a mane lay down on one side. So the first thing I did was get his mane wet. And I used a little bit of a conditioner with a lot of water. I wanted to make sure his mane was tangle free and the conditioner really helped to do that without making it too slippery because I just used a little bit. And this squirt bottle that I'm using, I really, really like it. It offers a continual spray and I got this from mainly when I bought a bottle of their conditioner. And then I got busy brushing out his mane and getting all of the tangles out. To make this the easiest, if you can wash your horse's mane, that would probably be the best plan, but it's only 60 degrees outside, so I just used the conditioner water in the spray bottle. And when you're braiding your horse's mane, first you need to make sure you can do it, you have enough hair. It's not like when you're braiding a mane for say a show, you don't have to braid it all the way down to the end. And while the braids can be bigger, I found that it actually works better if the braids are more of a medium size. So not as small as you would make for, say if you were doing a hunter type braid or braiding your horse's mane to go to a show, but not super big either, because if you use a really big section, the hair's still gonna wanna stand up. I had the best results by taking about a two and a half inch section of mane and braiding it. And when I was making the braids, I was pulling down on his hair and that will really help to keep the hair over on one side. And all you do is just work your way down your horse's mane, just one section at a time. And it really helps if you have all of your braiding supplies in one area. So on my hitching post, I have my brush, I have a bunch of rubber bands, and I also have the bottle of spray conditioner detangler, whatever you wanna call it. All within easy reach so I can get to it when I'm moving between the different braids. And the more you braid, the faster you get at it. Maybe not quite this fast. Yes, it's speeded up, but with each braid, you'll get better and better at it. And it's actually a really good lesson for your horse about standing still too. And I think you can see I am just pulling down on the braid as I braid it. It's really not hard, I promise.
And I really don't think there's a right or wrong way to do the braids. As long as you're pulling down on the hair as you're braiding it, it will help to keep the braid and the hair down closer to your horse's neck. And yes, I did know that Ethan picked up the brush. He likes to pick things up in his mouth and if it keeps him happy and preoccupied, I'm okay with that. All in all, it took me probably about an hour to do all of the braids for Ethan's mane. So it really was worth it in my opinion to be able to do this so that hopefully his mane will stay on one side now. And if you are going to braid your horse's mane like this in order to help it to lay down or to grow it out from being roached, and it's probably a good idea to only leave the braids in for about five days before redoing them so you don't break off the hair. And this is Ethan's mane, all done. It's laying on the same side. I'm so excited. And this is what it looks like from the opposite side. And I'm so happy that his mane is back and I'm able to braid it. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my other horse related videos. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.